Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to pair the DualShock 4 wireless controller to your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So this tutorial is going to apply to any Mac, including the Apple Silicon Macs, including the M1 chip with the M1 Pro and the M1 Max, and also any modern Mac, especially ones that run Mac OS Monterey. So the first thing that we need to do is to go to the top left hand side of the screen. We're going to go and click on the System Preferences section here. Then we're going to navigate to the Bluetooth section here. And once we're in the Bluetooth section, we're ready to set the pairing mode on the actual controller. So in order to pair the controller, what you need to do is to press the share button first, followed by the PlayStation button. So we're going to press the share button here and then the PlayStation button like so. And now that has started to flash and I can see on screen that we have the opportunity to actually connect and pair the DualShock 4 wireless controller. So in the Bluetooth menu here, I'm going to press the connect button. And now this controller is connected. That's a solid color. And now we are connected to the Mac. So a good website to use is this one called Gamepad Tester. And when you have the website up, what you can do is to actually fiddle around with the controls and just make sure everything's connected correctly. You can see that when I press a button here, it corresponds with this little figure here, and it shows that your buttons are all connected. Now what I can do is to go ahead and open up an emulator, for example, PCSX2, which has been built for Mac operating system. And then I can go ahead and load an ISO. So PCSX2 has already picked up the controller. I'm gonna press start to start the game. So I'm running this emulator through PCSX2 for the Mac operating system, running through the Metal Graphics API. If you want to learn how to set this particular emulator up, please check out the video in the description. Here I'm just going to show you that the controls do work, and it does work very well. So this is probably the best controller for PlayStation 2 emulation, but it's going to work on lots of other retro emulators too. If you'd like to see other video tutorials on other game emulators running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please check out the video playlist in the description. And that'll show you how to get games running, and you can use the DualShock 4 controller for all of those emulators too. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.